So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. What you see here, this is a germinating pollen grain. And I wanted to explain a little bit of uh, what actually pollen germination is and why it is important for the reproduction in, in flowering plants. Well, a few years ago, um, during springtime, I collected uh, some pollen and I put them under the microscope. And not only that, I added a little bit of sugar solution to the pollen. And then I could actually observe that some of these pollen actually started to grow a tube. And this is the so-called the pollen tube. And at the beginning, the pollen tube is uh, still very small. You're, it's barely visible. But after some time, it can become quite, uh, quite long. And uh, this pollen tube is very important for the reproduction of plants because when a pollen grain lands uh, on the stigma of uh, a flower, basically it's transferred either by wind or by, by insects, uh, then the, a pollen tube will start to grow and it will grow longer and longer and longer and inside the pollen tube you will find two sperm cells. Yes, uh, plants or um, flowering plants also have sperm cells and uh, this, uh, these sperm cells are important for fertilization of course of, of the egg cell and uh, then what you will have is, is then you will have a new seed and also a fruit will form them out of the flower. And and uh, it is that this uh, growth of the pollen tube can also be observed in an artificial environment, basically under the microscope, um, if the conditions are right. And uh, this is not an easy thing to do um, because not only the temperature has to be correct, but also you have to get the correct uh, concentration of the sugar solution. So there is a little bit of patience and trial and error necessary um, until all of the conditions are right. And then you have to wait a little bit. And then if you're lucky, you're able to see that um, some of the pollen will start to germinate. And not not all pollen like to do that under the microscope um, either. Um, but I just wanted to share this with you to actually show how this important biological process can also be observed directly under the microscope. So what we're seeing here is, is a very important uh, aspect uh, of the reproduction um, of uh, flowering plants. And what I can recommend is that if you go out and if you want to collect some pollen during springtime, because uh, at least on the northern hemisphere, that's uh, where right now springtime starts again, then go out and uh, collect different types of pollen and um, try different sugar concentrations. And then maybe you're lucky uh, that uh, a few of these pollen, you might be able to observe uh, that they will also start to grow a pollen tube. I just wanted to share this uh, video clip with you. I hope that you like the video. Please, uh, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you do like these videos. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.